This is my Swamp Rat Rodent 9. I received it in the mail today. This is their newest release, Swamp Rat's newest release. Consumes with a 9.5 inch SR101 steel blade, posing of a full tang. The overall length of this knife is 15 and a quarter inches. 15 and a quarter inch. It is relatively large. They are calling it a chopper. I can believe it. It's weighted right for chopping. It's weighted right for survival. They, Swamp Rat's calling it a very economic answer to a survival knife of the highest quality. Cost is around $200 from Swamp Rat. You can order it for $200 plus shipping. Comes with black canvas Micarta handles. The blade is obviously coated in that black coating that Swamp Rat uses and it has a lanyard hole. Riveted the handles are riveted and the hilt is curved down to prevent slipping. This grip is very comfortable. I didn't think it would quite be com this comfortable, but I must admit it is far and exceeding the ergonomics that I predicted it would have. It is very sharp. Came from Swamp Rat very sharp. They're calling it an ultra convex saber grind bevel. It is um, it's very sharp. The top of the spine is rounded off for comfort in case you have to press into something. Start skinning bark off a tree. Make a, a, sh a shelter for the night. That could be very useful to you. Consists of a penetrator tip. In case you're in a survival situation, you need to strap it to a stick. And use it as a spear to feed yourself. Or defend yourself. Anybody who knows about SR-101 steel knows it's very hard and it retains an edge very well. Now I promised you it was sharp so we're going to see if I have finally learned to cut paper. Here we go. Here's the paper. Let's see what... I don't know if you can see the thin slivers it's cutting. So I'll try to cut some bigger ones. These are all hand done, I believe, as all Swamp Rat and Bussies are. It is, as you can tell, pretty sharp. You can shave with it from the factory, from the workbench. But it is sharp. It is very sharp. It is what well, I'm going to use it to compare against my FBMs and Top Armageddon's and uh, Mark Works survival knives. I'm going to run a comparison consisting of chopping, cutting, edge retention. So stay tuned for that. That will be an interesting video. I know viewers like more active videos, so that will be that will be neat. And it's just. An amazing knife for the money. I've never seen anything like it. It is spectacular in every way. It far and exceeds my expectations in every way of what I thought it would be. And I was expecting a lot, I must admit. Um, but thank you for watching. I must say that my only disappointment is these handles are not as dark as I thought they would be. They're black canvas, but they're, they're like a grayish black canvas. So I may buy a little dye and, and darken them up a little bit, but I can't really say that's a big deal. The knife is obviously far and exceeding all of my expectations as it is. It did come with a cardboard sleeve, as they all do. So you have to order a sheath, but that's no big deal because a lot of people like to order sheaths that will fit their environment, their applications. So that is not a problem for me. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're liking my videos, my reviews, and uh, pay, uh, just keep in touch. And all my comparison videos, you'll, you'll see pretty much firsthand. And. 
Thank you. This is Murr signing off. Feel free to comment. I like criticism. And I will talk to you later. Goodbye.